Welcome to a Nintendo Switch news roundup. This video will be featuring some of the topics that have been making the news over the past couple of days. So I'm just going to kick things off with the devs behind Splatoon 2. Released a short video of the roller in action in Splatoon 2. And pretty much they released this video on their Japanese Twitter account. And pretty much, basically with the roller... Whenever you press the ZR button and, you know, constantly roll ink on the floor, you will now get a speed boost. So that is, you know, better than in Splatoon Wii U where it was, you know, you did have a payoff there where it was slow to roll ink. But, you know, obviously you did roll quite a lot of ink. But now it seems like the roller is really really powerful i didn't really feel like the roller needed a buff anyway if anything it needed a nerf just because well i guess it sort of has got a nerf just because you, ca you can no longer do a horizontal fling if you jump you have to be grounded to do a horizontal fling but even so it's like the rollers in splatoon wii u are really really dominant it's like rollers are a one hit horizontal fling and plus the speed of the fling is just flipping crazy so one thing I like to see change is either change the speed of a roller fling or reduce the damage so that's just one thing that I think they should do with rollers I don't want to judge the rollers too much obviously I haven't played the game yet I will this time next month and I will be able to give a better judgement when I do play the game but Based on Splatoon Wii U, I think the rollers will be far too dominant in Splatoon 2. There doesn't seem to be a payoff there for you know, being able to roll a lot of ink on the floor. You now get a speed boost if you do roll um, for a long period of time. I guess that does sort of, you know, I guess that sort of has like a factor in there where it might take... You know, obviously it's trying to take people away from just flinging ink all, the, all of the time. Hopefully people will be attracted to just use the ZR button all of, all of the time and not, you know, fling their ink. But yeah, I just feel like the rollers, I'm not liking where they're going at this moment in time. So, yeah, that's just my thoughts on Splatoon 2 and the rollers. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. The next thing that I need to talk about in this video is that a Japanese rhythm game, I do believe, called... V O E Z Voez, I don't know how you pronounce it, but pretty much this is a touchscreen game, and this is the first Nintendo Switch game that can't be played on the TV. So if you dock it, if you dock your Switch, you cannot play this game on the TV. It is a handheld only game. So yeah, a lot of people are reacting to this in two different ways. I'm just going to give you my thought process behind. Um, this game so I'm not really that bothered about it just because this is a mobile game it is a touchscreen heavy game what I don't want to see is third parties you know you know triple A third parties like do this just make you know handheld only games I don't want to see Nintendo do this I don't want to see triple A third party games doing this but if this means that we could get some mobile games over to the switch then maybe that might be a you know factor in some people picking up a Switch. If they know that they can play their favourite mobile games on the Switch handheld, then maybe those people might actually pick up a Switch. So, yeah, I don't see this on a regular basis just because this is, you know, the Switch is a handheld and a console. I think this should just be for mobile games only. And I could see this you know, working for Super Mario Run, maybe they will put Super Mario Run to the Switch um, and Fire Emblem Heroes, um, so maybe they'll do that, but yeah, I don't want to see this with like Call of Duty where it's just handheld only, or like the next, like Mario Kart 9, like handheld only, I don't want to see that. The only time I want to see this happening is with touchscreen heavy games like games from smartphones and tablets so a bunch of people from the gaming industry have talked about the switch and i'm not sure what this person's name is just because in my notepad 
L and I's look the same. So this person could be Takahashi Lizuke or Takahashi Izuke from Sega. And I just found what he had to say interesting. So this is what he had to say about the Switch. So when I first heard about Switch back when it was um, went by the codename NX, I felt there was a lot of appeal in being able to enjoy a console gaming experience whenever and wherever you wanted. In the future, I'd like to see them further expand on the diversity of the hardware by maybe making a smaller, more shock resistant version for younger gamers a super enhanced docking station for additional performance or even a larger size screen version of the switch that would all be compatible with the same software and that is interesting just because i have talked about this on my channel and you all see me talk about it on the channel as well got a video which I made a couple of weeks ago which I still haven't uploaded yet talking about my ideas for like, a more powerful switch and that is what basically this person is saying and in that video I did say maybe Nintendo will create a family of systems where you will see like a 2DS sort of um, you know 2DS sort of switch for the younger audience a more powerful switch for you know the console audience um, so I just found what that person from Sega had to say interesting and yeah I, I can see it happening to be honest with you I could definitely see the 2DS one happening not going to talk too much about the more powerful switch idea just because I've got a separate video about that coming soon so just found what that person from Sega had to say interesting it's definitely something which I thought about myself in terms of what future hardware we could be seeing in terms of the switch I definitely feel like the switch will be like the 3DS where it will be like a family of systems that's what I feel like so Newegg have put up a listing of Telltale's Guardians of the Galaxy for the Switch I think Guardians of the Galaxy will definitely be coming that is a game that was rumoured by Laura K. Dale ages ago that is it for this first Switch news roundup there is probably going to be a second news roundup later today just because obviously you got the um, Switch um, you got the Switch Nindies Showcase, which will be happening. Who knows? This video might be coming after um, the um, Switch Nindies Showcase. I will only cover that if I see anything interesting, like for me. So yeah, that's just what I wanted to say in terms of the um, Nindies Showcase. So that is it for this video. We are only a few days away from the Switch, and I'm flipping excited. I did make a separate video talking about my excitement for the Switch. Uh, where yeah I'm just yeah I'm just flipping buzzing at this moment in time. I'm just waiting for that switch. We don't have long to wait now and I just can't flipping wait to get that Zelda and to get that switch into my flipping setup. Really can't. So that is it for this video and I will see you next time. Goodbye.